Hey everybody, Lev Farmer 73 here. Today I'm going to be taking down my chicken coops. Yeah, both of them, and taking them out to Freedom Acres. Everybody wanted to know what kind of chicken coops they were. These are the producer pride chicken coops from Tractor Supply. Before you get started, this was the first one I purchased. I had this for a couple years and once I realized that it was keeping out everything, that let me know I needed to buy a second one. Cause you can take it apart real easy, which you gonna watch me do. And you can conform this, you can turn it into anything you want. What we're gonna be doing is, I'm gonna, both of these cages are separate. There are small doors right down here can open and you can add a chicken coop, an actual egg nesting box, or you can actually remove this whole door well i got it zip tied in place you can remove this whole door and this open door can connect to this cage's open door and you can have a run through back and forth or what you're going to see me do is have a center area with the coop in the middle i got so many different configurations that it's just crazy now here's the other sweet part this does come with a, a roof on it, a metal cage roof. Now, what I did to keep the rain out is just put a couple of these uh, boards on top just to make a, a quick waterproof roof, and it works for everything I needed to do. Nothing fancy, just threw a couple of these up top. No hawks, no eagles, no birds, no owls, no nothing from the top trying to get down through them so it's totally caged in all the way around here's another part i love about them is because the way they are two by fours fit right through the bars here's the roosting bars for my chickens you can see her on the roost right there so at night they just roost right up here on these two two by fours that i got here and i got two more two by fours going straight across back here and I put a little board on it. So now I got somewhere to set their nesting box, waterer, and just the extra space for them to hang out, just to give them more space than just being on the ground. So you can do anything you want with these. You can make them into anything. Now, check this out. In this cage over here, I did the same thing to a point and I got my rabbits. Let me show you. And they're lockable, by the way. But in this cage, I did the same thing, ran my two by fours underneath, and I got my rabbit cages sitting on them, and the board is screwed to the two by fours. So the bunnies is off the ground in a way, but they also got somewhere to just hang out so they don't hurt their feet right on the boards. They cool as a fan. You can turn these into anything you want. They're easy to put together. They're easy to take apart. Yes, they are a little pricey, but Imagine how much imagine how much money you're gonna spend if you're constantly replacing your livestock. I don't have to do that. I have never had to replace them for anything attacking them ever, ever in years. So what you're gonna see me do is disassemble this one, load it up on my trailer, and get it out to Freedom Acres. So these are the things I need to loosen up. But just like that. I'm gonna take this one off and this one off and I'm gonna do the same on the corner over there and I'm just gonna pull this whole wall off. Watch this. Keep your nut. That comes right off. All they're doing is pinching these together. Put these back together so you don't lose them. And that's it. Now we're just gonna do this a few more times and this whole thing will be come right apart. Can't forget the ones on the roof. I got four of these going across this panel of the roof. Got to get those too. I just removed the first board. So this will give you a better view of the cage roof. Now 
Nothing gets in, nothing gets out. Now that I have both corners unscrewed, this whole door can just come right out, this whole panel. And again, I'm leaving the middle in, so I'm just gonna fold this up so it can fit right on my trailer. I'm gonna show you that in a minute too. As a matter of fact, I'll probably show you now. This just folds over. Now I can fit this whole thing on the back of my trailer. So I'm just gonna repeat this a few more times and then we'll be heading out to Freedom Makers. I got this panel on the dolly. I'm gonna just take this out to the trailer. All we gotta do now is just load it up on the trailer. It's not heavy, each panel is not heavy at all. Just like that. Now I'm gonna just load it up. That's it, it's time to head to Freedom Makers. All right, y'all, we heading to Freedom Makers. We got the chicken coop on the back. We're gonna take one, get it set up, then grab the other one, get it set up, and then we're gonna bring the birds out. All right, you guys, so what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be setting the chicken coop up live. I'm getting so many questions about it that I actually wanna answer them live while I'm setting it up. So I'm gonna have somebody probably read in the comments while I set it up to actually show you in real time 
how easy it is. So I hope you guys stick around and watch the next episode of us putting that chicken coop together live. Remember, it's a uh, producer's pride from Tractor Supply. One of the best, no, the best chicken coop that I've ever had. I've had several of them. Nothing can get in those and nothing can get out. So just to let you guys know, the only reason I'm doing this video is because so many people keep asking me about them. So here you go. So stick around for part two because we're going to put them together live. All right. Leo Farm 73, I love you. Be watching out for part two live, putting up Producer's Pride chicken pen.